Hey guys and girls, back for another episode of Coffee Break by ClimbingAlbris.com. So in this episode, I want to talk about fear. And this one comes up like now and again. And it, this one came up, especially in more recent times when, first of all, when we were doing a podcast at the end of 2020 and we were all talking about, um, you know, being scared or scary moments while I'm climbing, that kind of thing. Um, and another video that's just about to be released uh, of us doing some cottonwood, um, just basically bringing the height down to re for mitigation purposes, some huge cottonwoods, the tallest cottonwoods I've ever climbed in my life. Um, some of the tallest, probably some of the tallest in the world because I found out the the largest cottonwoods in the world recorded is like 139 feet or something. And these, like... I know we all like to exaggerate as tree climbers or oh, I climbed a tree this high and that it was it was this wide and the stem was 15 foot diameter and all that kind of stuff we love to exaggerate but no joke I wouldn't be surprised if these were taller than the tallest recorded cottonwood on record because these things were huge and you know when you when you kind of get a uh, a feel for the height due to the length of your ropes and then how much higher you have to climb above like maxing out your ropes and then taking out the like the tops and all this kind of stuff so these were absolutely huge huge cottonwoods and we did three and all three of them once we got into the canopy man were we shocked in the state of the cavities and all that kind of stuff so this brought up uh, this topic of fear and I really wanted to talk about this for mainly for like new arborists people just getting into the industry like rookie climbers people that are you know have maybe done a few climbs and you know they're really really scared and then they're like questioning whether they've chosen the right career path or whether it's kind of been enough to scare them out of thinking, oh, I'm never going to be any good at this, I'm too scared, all that kind of stuff. And what I would say is the majority of tree climbers probably felt exactly the same when first getting into the industry. So from personal experience, I remember the first time I ever climbed a tree and I I, I studied arboriculture um at college for two years, did a two year course. And we used to climb every Monday. So the first Monday rolled around um, and we were out there climbing and being sure, well, I mean, I'm sure it wasn't the first Monday of the entire course that we did the climbing. We probably got orientated around knot tying and all the equipment. So it was probably, you know, like a month into the program or something. And I remember it was a Scots pine tree and there was, I think there was probably like f 15 of us on the course. And this was going to be the first time that any of us had climbed. So we all we all got given like a task. So somebody went up first, they were to spur up, take off like two branches, come down. And the next person would go up. And I was, I don't know, I was maybe like the, the fourth or fifth person. So I spurred up this tree, you know, this is all about getting getting used to spurs, so being feeling comfortable on spurs and, and them talking through the technique. And then once we got into the tree, or like or kind of spurred up and felt comfortable, um, actually, I'm going to back up a minute. So we, we'd done a few weeks of climbing first, like learning knots and ropes and getting comfortable with the equipment so the harnesses the ropes all that kind of stuff so we'd done we'd done a fair few weeks of actual climbing first I, I remember we there was a huge plane tree on the grounds that we would go and climb quite regularly so what i'm talking about is actually the first time we did any kind of work on a tree so like removing branches so this scots pine tree was coming down and so we had to you know we were removing the branches and so i remember going up and the first time i had to get myself in a position where i could make a cut and this is just like this is just with a handsaw this is just pruning off branches with a handsaw 
and I I was maybe like 30 or 40 feet up the tree and I got down that day and I remember thinking man like I was terrified I don't know if I can do this like and I had all those things running through my head am I stupid to have signed up for a two-year course and not and like maybe I'm afraid of heights um am I ever going to get comfortable doing this job because that was terrifying all those things running through my head and since you know obviously been in the, this industry for a long time now almost everybody I've ever spoken to about tree climbing had a similar first experience they were absolutely terrified the first time they actually did any work now it might not have been climbing because you know just climbing really fun you know maybe your friends showed you or you went to on a course to learn to climb and that's all great because if you do it like that there's no pressure all you're learning about is actually getting into the tree you probably push around a little bit move from side to side feel comfortable in the harness then you come down and think oh man this is awesome i'm going to be a tree climber but when you actually first get a job where you're actually doing some work so removing branches that kind of thing god it like it's a different ball game different ball game from just climbing trees so like i was saying mo the, most of the people that i've ever spoken to uh, you know all my friends that are in the industry like everybody that i know through the community in the pacific northwest where i live um Everybody I've spoken to doing climbing competitions or at conferences that I've spoken to about their first day on the job. Almost everybody has that same experience. So what I would say is that fear is, is something naturally that's built into us for a purpose. The fear is there to actually keep us safe. Like if we're, if we're scared of something, we're going to be like heightened all our senses. You know, like the adrenaline will get pumping it's almost like fight or flight mode you, you almost like get this like extra strength because you like you don't want to you know if it's say if it's hanging on to something you don't want to lose grip so you, you just seem to be able to hold on for longer because you're scared like there's there's more at stake so fear is there to keep us safe now some people there's a, there's a small percentage of the population who are just wired differently like people some people just do not have any fear and you know, and those people could be excellent at whatever they do and and still be safe, but just they just don't have that like that additional like fear switch. But for the majority of us, fear is there as it's a good instinct to have. But when you're first starting out, the, the fear is going to be like really, really strong. And it's going to be enough that you're going to be questioning whether this is the right career choice for you and what i would say to anybody thinking like that is just just stick it out just ride it out because that fear is coming from so many different places one it's coming from the height that you're at two it's coming from an environment that you're not comfortable in you like you've never been in an environment where you're in a tree off the ground you know you're having to do work so you're having to concentrate on not falling out of the tree but also you have a task to do and in removing branches pruning trees removing trees um there's then the the part of it that you have to trust equipment that you're told is okay but this is like the first second time you've ever used it and like how can you instantly just trust something just because somebody gives it to you and says right there you go that equipment is is safe it's strong enough to hold your your weight um then you have to trust that you're connecting everything right that the you know the carabiners are closed properly the hitches are tied correctly um your harness is adjusted properly your spurs are on correctly like there's so many things which is where that fear comes from like it's the fear is made up of like all those different things added together and when you're unsure of each one of those um individual things then obviously that combines into like a lot of fear whereas once you get 
more comfortable with your equipment you get more skilled at the job so you become more comfortable in moving around a tree you get more comfortable in handling a chainsaw a handsaw all those um, pieces of equipment you get knowledge of rigging and you get knowledge of trees themselves like that's another issue is you know when you're just starting out you you don't know what's safe to tie into you don't know what trees are have stronger wood which trees are more brittle and snap which ones in your area are more likely to be diseased if if some of them can be affected by diseases that are hard to spot but can be pretty serious like that's a whole other aspect where experience and knowledge comes into play um and if you don't have that experience and knowledge then you're gonna doubt yourself and you're gonna be questioning is this safe is this person who's hiring me telling me it's safe but do i believe them um there's so many questions so what i would say to anybody who's questioning themselves about am i too scared is this the right industry for me is ride it out for you you have to give it a chance you have to give it you know six months a year and also you have to go out and you have to go out in your own time if you have the access to the equipment go out in your own time get comfortable in the harness and the rope and get used to trusting it build trust with the ropes the hitch cords the harness um find some trees get comfortable in the tree get comfortable just kind of swinging around moving so if you slip off a branch you already know what to expect of a little swing you don't you don't be terrified so if you if you intentionally make some small swings in trees in your own time when there's no pressure then you already know the feeling of what's going to happen if you slip off a branch take a swing into the trunk it's no big deal but if you've never experienced that and then for the first time it happens unexpectedly that that is going to be something that's going to shock you so yeah build as much confidence in your equipment as you can get as comfortable as you can in um low pressure situations or no pressure situations so in your own time and then when you're out at work and obviously a, a job has to be done then you'll already feel start to feel more comfortable which will start to take the fear away from you um and the job that brought this up to me was a uh, as a going back to the beginning of the video is a cottonwood job that we had and there was three these three cottonwoods and they were in really, really bad shape. And, you know, they were really high off the ground. And myself and Connor were climbing them. And just seeing the cavities and the hollows down the stem. And then seeing how much tree was above us that we had to remove. And then, you know, there was a fence on the north side of the trees that we couldn't smash. It was the neighbor's fence. It had just been put up. You know, it was an expensive, like, wire fence and so we had to so nothing could go you know to the north so everything had to go in one direction luckily we could just knock out tops and you know destroy everything below um apart from it couldn't go one way so that that did give us a bit of a challenge and it was it was a challenge because we couldn't or we didn't feel comfortable in climbing you know all the way to the top of this tree to to bring it down so there was definitely some fear there and that fear i f i found for me it was like one of the, i think it was like the first time i'd genuinely been fearful in a good couple of years climbing trees because most of the trees that i do i've already s inspected i've seen um you know I, i've had a, enough experience to know what i feel is safe and so this one, these trees were, were, were some that really did make me feel nervous. And what that made me do was to, to slow down, to keep stopping and analyzing, checking and making sure I didn't try and cut any corners to get it, the job done quicker. I was, I know I was thinking, really thinking about it, analyzing it, thinking, right, what's the safest way to do things? What's the easiest way 
um, how you know how how can we get this done where we're going to go home at the end of the day and you know it's going to have run smoothly and that meant you know really slowing down not letting time pressure me not putting any pressure on the guys Connor and Tom because I didn't I already knew that Connor who was in one of the trees was feeling pretty nervous and so I did not want to be piling on more pressure than he was already feeling um and yeah so I actually felt like me having that fear that day on doing those cottonwoods was a really good thing because it made me you know it made me think hard about the best way of doing things it made me stop analyze things double check everything you know i was i used multiple ropes to make sure that i was safe i made a decision on one point to when i was roped in twice that when i one the one of my ropes that was roped around something that was a little bit a little bit dodgy or quite a lot of dodgy actually i would use a carabiner not f that wasn't life support um and that was in case you know in case something catastrophic failed then that carabiner would pop off but i needed that system to be able to advance higher in that tree while i was still roped into another tree that was like my main life support so there was a there was a lot of thinking going on that day and um yeah so i if you want to, if you're interested in checking out that video of, that I'm talking about of the cottonwoods, it's um, it's the ske sketchy cottonwood, sketchy rotten cottonwoods. Um, that's the video. So go and find that, and you'll see. I mean, the video you really like. I knew when once we'd done that job, putting that video together, you would never ever be able to feel what we were feeling uh, because you're just looking at you're just looking at a video you're looking at a screen you're you can't be there you're not getting the fear because of the height you're not getting the fear because of the um because of the decay and everything obviously i've made the video so you know that nothing disastrous happened so as a viewer you just can't you really can't understand like where the nerves were coming from even once you see like the decay and and how how bad these trees were so yeah so go and check that video out and to all all you new guys and girls in the industry just give it a chance don't let that that one first climb make your decision and and change your career path for you thank you for watching as always um and i'll see you on the next video